today. I want this to be a beautiful morning. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It is time now, my friends, to join together in a unified effort on behalf of Japan, Australia, North Africa, and many other areas of our world, which are now or soon will be experiencing the very amazing and sometimes challenging, difficult challenges of awakening. Sometimes these challenges arrive as earth changes, sometimes as the courage to demand freedom, and sometimes quietly and privately in our own homes and hearts. our time now, the time we have come here to experience, serve, and awaken. So whenever you experience thoughts of concern or worry about your well-being or the well-being of others, replace that thought with a feeling, thought or image of peace and comfort. Individually, we have great opportunities to influence our life and that of our world, and together we can become a powerful force for change, harmony, and awakening. So take this opportunity now to become a true leader and wise being that you truly long to become. Step into the roles of leadership for your family, friends, and co-workers, and model the loving strength, calm focus, and grounded actions which can support love and awakening. Become now all that you have thought you might become in the future. The time is now, and the changes are happening. The energy is here to support our awakening and the awakening of our planet. Hi, my name's Kim Prangley, and I'm the designer of the Stansted Stone Circle. Which is located on Notre Dame Boulevard in Stansted, which is very conveniently located just moments away from the U.S.-Canadian border crossing at the Outer Route 55 and Interstate 91. In uh, September 22nd, on the Equinox in 2009, this stone circle was put up over two days. And I kind of like to imagine what it would have felt like for people who had left the community for a couple of days and there was nothing in this field and they came back and oh my gosh, there's this huge stone circle that sprung up like a mushroom ring over the weekend. So it was actually um, physically erected by Christian Ouellette of COM Granite, and the circle was funded by Gabriel Safdie and his wife, Ava Jewell. So it was a collaboration in many aspects. Uh, a lot of the granite communities donated time and services, uh, it was really a communal effort. I designed the circle to honor our community, which is rather unique for a number of reasons. Uh, first of all, we are actually located on the 45th parallel, which is halfway between the equator and the North Pole, which in my mind is a rather unique uh, location on the planet. Our community is also pretty well divided by the U.S.-Canadian border. Uh, the reason I built it, actually, was more for spiritual purposes than a tourist attraction. It was important to me to have a, uh, uh, a beautiful place of reflection that we could come to, which is now a public park that belongs to the village of Stansted. And it's open for viewing 365 days a year, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.